Now to a CBS 46 exclusive. He shocked the world when he asked for a $65 million airplane. Pastor Creflo Dollar lives more like a rock star than preacher. His church reportedly brings in $80 million a year, but how much of that helps those in need and how much goes to Dollar's wallet? We sent CBS 46 investigative reporter Jeff Cherico to start digging. If I want to believe God for a $65 million plane, you cannot stop me. You cannot stop me from dreaming. Creflo Dollar doesn't apologize for dreaming. He's built a ministry on it. If they discover that there's life on Mars, they gonna need to hear the gospel and I'm gonna have to believe God for a billion dollar space shuttle. Dollar has rocketed into the stratosphere of televangelism superstardom. 30,000 people belong to Dollar's World Changers Church International in College Park and another in New York City. His weekly sermons broadcast to thousands more gathered at two dozen satellite churches. They also air on television around the world. So do you think Creflo Dollar is a charismatic speaker? With nearly a half million Twitter followers, Creflo Dollar has become his own brand, profiting from book sales and paid personal appearances. Dream for the best house. Dream for the best car. Just cause the world don't have it don't mean you can't have it. You are the children of the almighty God. Like many televangelists, Dollar preaches what's called the prosperity gospel. It teaches that God will bless with wealth those who are faithful and give to Christian ministries. It's a spiritual Las Vegas, a heavenly lottery, if you will. The odds are always in favor of the house, and Creflo Dollar's the house. Creflo, his wife, and their children live like the rich and famous. This is their sprawling $2 million mansion in Fayette County. They also own a luxury condo in this high-rise in Buckhead and a $2 million home near New York City. They travel in Rolls Royces, Hummers, and in not one but two private jets, which have made thousands of trips over the past 15 years to places like Australia, Fiji Islands, United Kingdom, and Portugal. His role isn't to make money off the sheep or to eat the sheep. Oli Anthony of the Trinity Foundation in Dallas, Texas, believes pastors should live like the people they serve. In the first century church, the pastor lived as the poorest of the poor, not the richest of the rich. It's nearly impossible to determine how profitable religion has been for Creflo Dollar. Unlike other tax-exempt nonprofits, churches don't have to make their finances public, and Dollar hides behind that. He declined our request for an interview, refused to turn over the church's audited financial statements, or even give us the names of those on his board of directors. When a church cannot be transparent, it raises suspicion. Reverend Timothy McDonald is an open critic of Dollar. He says his first Iconium Baptist Church in Southeast Atlanta makes its finances open even though it doesn't have to. We aren't interested in what church preaches. This is a tax issue. And, and he supported Senator Charles Grassley's investigation in 2007 into the secret finances of televangelists. The investigation branded Dollar the least cooperative for refusing to answer a single question. If you're going to take money from the people, you ought to be ready, willing to share financial disclosure with the people. Public records give a glimpse at the empire the dollars have created. Creflo and Taffy both own a host of for-profit companies. So closely linked to the church, they're based in it. We're told Pastor Dollar doesn't draw a salary from world changers, but he certainly profits from it. That they own the book publishing and record publishing that sell the music and sell the, the sermons and sell the books, if you will, as, as intellectual property owned by the dollars. In a real church, the intellectual property is owned by the congregation, not the pastor. In fact, the Learjet and the now out-of-service Gulfstream are also owned by Pastor Dollar's for-profit company, not the church. Dream on! It leaves his critics asking whether he needs a new one to spread the gospel or make more money. Just one of many questions for which Creflo Dollar may never be held accountable until the end. And I think that's definitely something that Creflo Dollar is going to have to answer for someday when he has to respond to what kind of ministry did he have on this earth all these years. We asked how much Pastor Dollar earns from the sales of his books and CDs and how much he gives back to the church that promotes him. We were told... It's none of our business.